Based in Guadalajara, Mexico, Lo Esencial produces unique product offerings, and the assembly number one and number two wallets are their latest no-stitch offerings in that product line. At the end, I'll disassemble both of these so you can see how clever they are in their design. And that's how you disassemble a thermal explosive. No, they're, they're just wallets. There's no thermal explosives here. We're gonna take a look at both of these wallets. Let's look at and unbox the Lo Essential Assembly Number One first. This is incredibly clever packaging. Very, very cool. So if we come to the back here, we see we have a little tab that we unhook from the slot. If we open this up here, then we can see where this wallet sits. Great instructions all through here. Of course, they're in Spanish. Uh, you have a business card, but here's the wallet. And so to get to it, it has a snap in it, so we can just unsnap right here. Notice the nice little hole, at which point then this slides through <clears throat> and it frees the wallet. It's so clever. Again, I love it when companies put some thought into their packaging. It really is, uh, it really adds a lot of value to the unboxing and your impressions of the company and the product. So here it is. This is the assembly number one wallet. This is a no stitch, as has been mentioned. You have a little snap in here. Uh, the fact is that this is all hidden. And not only hidden, but you can see how it's un unobtrusive. I'm going to get a little light in here. Unobtrusive for the little snap down there. It, this is not going to damage your cards at all. So if we look at uh, this closely, we can see that no stitch, all folded, secures via the snap. It has quite a few features in it, so we will get a look at this a little closer. Now onto assembly number two. Again, clever packaging, opens the same way here being that this is a little bit of a different wallet, we can see that it does not have any snaps in it, but it has another tab in here that connects into one of the slots. Remove that. If we come to the interior, we can see that there is another tab here that holds into that leather. So we can pull this around. Uh, let's see, pull this through, which then frees from that tab. So cool. All right, let's get a look at this one. Whereas the other one was a vertical, this is a horizontal bifold, has a full billfold pocket area, and you can again see some of the features we have here. How the cards are put into these slots with Lo Essencial uh, products is, is a little different. We'll show that in the card and cash insertion test. No stitch wallets are very clever, and these two are no different. So stick around to the end to see me unfold them. We look at the features of the number one. It does have a quick access card slot right here on the exterior. If we go to the interior, we notice that uh, it has one and two and three. So it has a pocket back here and a slot. Uh, there's no divider between cards or cash you put in here and the card here. Now a capacity of one to four cards through this, notes folded once, you know, works on one side or the other. It's, uh, it will work either way. This provides quicker access because we don't have uh, this leather going all the way up like we see here. So you want to get to cash easy, easier, that's a great way to do it. But of course, with cards in there, you know, I still think it's easier than the other side. And of course, the wallet secures itself through this snap right here, which point then, unless it's unsnapped, you're not going to have anything fall out of here except potentially for here. But it's a quick access card slot and uh, it inserts into the interior. And that is a quick review of the features of the number one. So if we take a look at the number two assembly wallet, we do have a quick access card slot on the exterior of this one, even though this is more of a traditional billfold. And if we open up, again, no snaps involved here. We have one, two, three. We have uh, four slots right here, but they act as one each. And I'll show you how Low Essential demonstrates cards going in here. However, I think you can put separate cards. This will be interesting to look at. And of course, we have a billfold pocket right here. Uh, you can get uh, all kinds of cash in here. It's uh, not really difficult, and we'll show uh, what types of cash fit. It's not that tall, and so taller currencies might be an issue, but that's what we'll demonstrate next. And that's a quick view of the features of the number two assembly wallet. The assembly one product. It measures four by three by 0.4, and it weighs 39 grams, or 1.4 ounces. If we took a look here, we've got the assembly number two. That's four by 3.2 by 0.3, and weighs 33 grams, or 1.2 ounces.
As you saw, I got uh, various number of cards in each one of these. You can see how they sit next to each other. What's interesting is really with this uh, bifold here, the number two. So you can see that the method that they demonstrate on their site is to thread this through like this, which, you know, is a great way to keep this from falling out. That's not going to happen. But then again, you're inserting this way so that the fold protects the card, so they're really not going to fall out anyway. And, you know, with anything in there, uh, by way of cash or other cards, this just is not coming out very easily. So I don't really have a concern that this will fall out. And uh, kind of to my surprise, the taller currencies, the yen and the euro here in the back, um, or here in the front, there they are, they did just fine too. I mean, they peek out just a little bit at the top, but you know what? It's very doable. Same problem, uh, though a different problem with the, the uh, number one, the cash, the taller currencies, they did interfere with the spine a bit, so really not ideal here. It works, but it's not uh, terribly ideal. Now, both are designed and made in Mexico from one piece of unlined full grain veg tan leather. Uh, we can see this here with this uh, lining in here. And it, you know, it, it you know, it's been tending to, to poop on this all, all the time. I'm constantly sweeping this off. I mean, it is a dyed leather that uh, really it feels good to the touch. And, you know, it's supple and it's supple enough. But, of course, once you put some rigidity in here with the cards, it's just a, a great wallet and still very, very thin. You have the option to request initials to be stamped on these wallets if you prefer. And I really like how the number one has this brass snap clasp on the inside, like I showed you. It's not on the outside. It keeps a nice, clean look on the outside of this, and you don't see it while it's still being very functional. The pricing for both of these is $33. That's relatively inexpensive. Ah, <laughs> uh, relatively inexpensive! That's right. That is indeed a great price. All right, let's unfold these wallets so you can see the innovative design. All right, let's start with the number two. So we can notice here that in the end is where we have the uh, no fold portions. And you can see that they have a, a clasp that goes on the interior. So if we just kind of fold this out and take it out of this slot right here, we can see how that comes out. Again, these two pieces go into the slot as wings on both sides and hold it in place. And we take care of its pooping. And we open this up, and there is the wallet. Single piece. Very simple, but you have to think through what this looks like uh, in, practical, in a practical nature, and it's just uh, not as easy as you think. All right, let's move on to the number one. Let's do this again. All right, the number one. A little bit different, but same concept. We have these tabs up here on the top and they follow the same principle of having the fold as it uh, folds over here. I think I'm going to speed this up a bit for you. All right, there we go. And I'm glad it was not easy. That means that it's uh, built really well. And you have their nice stamp in here, you can see and you can see exactly where they placed the snap. And it's, uh, you know, again, very precise, very well done. And that is the teardown. And not really bad because you can put it back together. The Lo Essential, assembly number one and number two. Now onto the final score. Being very similar, they actually came out with the same score. Quality of four, price of four, very well priced. Features of three, usability of three and perception of four. That gives us a good score of 37 out of 50. Thanks for being here. I suggest you look at this next video if you like the one you just saw. And we'll see you in the next review. Bye.